Hey guys, welcome to HPC Education and today we'll be looking at environment variables. The OpenMP specification defines four environment variables that control the execution of OpenMP programs. OMP Schedule, OMP NumThreads, OMP Dynamic and OMP Nested. Let's get into what each one of this actually means. First one up, OMP Schedule. OMP schedule sets the runtime schedule type and chunk size. It applies to only for and parallel for directives that have the schedule type runtime specified. Otherwise, it uses the default value of static. Here is an example of setting OMP schedule. Non-monotonic is the modifier, dynamic is the schedule kind and for is the chunk size. OMP num threads sets the maximum number of threads in the parallel region. In this example, we are setting the number of threads as 4. OMP dynamic environment variable enables or disables dynamic adjustment of the number of threads available for execution of parallel regions. Its value must be true or false. Here we are enabling dynamic adjustment of the number of threads. OMP nested environment variable specifies whether the nested parallelism is enabled or not, unless already enabled or disabled with OMP set dynamic. Its value must be true or false. Here we set the OMP nested environment variable to true. A point to remember, all environment variable names are uppercase. The values assigned to them are not case sensitive. Now we look at some environment variables introduced in later versions of OpenMP. OMP stack size controls the size of the stack for created threads. OMP weight policy provides a hint to an OpenMP implementation about the desired behavior of weighting threads. Valid values are active and passive. Active specifies that weighting threads should mostly be active. OMP max active levels control the maximum number of nested active parallel regions. The value of this environment variable should be a non-negative integer. OMP thread limit sets the number of OpenMP threads to use for the whole OpenMP program. The value of this environment variable must be a positive integer. Now let's see environment variables in action. Here's a simple parallel program that prints hello world. When the program is run, hello world is printed twice, which means the default number of threads executing in parallel are two. Now let's set the environment variable as shown. The same program when run again now prints hello world four times. This is how environment variables modify the execution of code. That's all for this video. See you again in the next one.